a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. So guys, in our previous session, we have covered that what is step chart. So here we are done with the charts. Now we'll be talking about some extra functions that we have over here with our matplotlib. So one of those functions is called as fill between. That means if you have a chart and if you want to fill between some values, that means you want to fill a color in between or if you want to highlight some area. For that, we use a fill between function. Let's have a look on how a fill between function works. So basically to explain this, I'll be using the sine waves. So I'll be plotting a graph which is based on a sine wave and according to that, we'll be filling in the areas. So first of all, I'll import matplotlib for that. So import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Once we have imported them, we have to import numpy as np. After importing numpy, I will be creating a sine wave over here in a graph. So for that, I'll be writing a is equals to np.line space. So I'll be giving a line space. If you, if you remember, we have used this function that if you want to give a equal intervals and equal spacing in between, we use the line space function over here. So we'll be starting with 0, comma, 2 multiplied by 3.14. That means we'll multiply 2 with the pi, comma, goes up to 50. And in B, we'll be writing np dot sine, sine of A. Okay. Let's plot a plot from this. So PL, plot dot plot so plt dot plot basically and i'll pass a comma b here and i'll write plt dot show open close the parentheses so as soon as i run it a plot like this will appear okay now if i want to share shade any kind of area so this is our x axis over here if i want to shade any kind of area let's say for example i want to shade an area which comes from center to here okay so this center value is somewhere between 1.5 and 1.5 to let's say 3.5 Okay, I want to shade the area between uh, 1.5 to 3.2. In that case, what I'll do here, I'll be writing plt dot fill underscore between. So this is our fill between function. Now we have to define that which area we do we need to fill. For that, I'll be writing first of all between a comma b will be filling. After that, on the zero axis, like from the zero axis, and where do we have to fill? We have to define that. So where would be equal to so I'll be giving two parameters over here where a is greater than, um, so our sine wave is greater than 1.5. So where a is greater than 1.5 and we'll be using our and operation. That means it will, it should satisfy both the condition over here that it should be greater than 1.5 and also a should be smaller than and equal to let's say 3.2. Okay, so let's run and see. So as soon as we run it, we can see over here, let's uh, let's move it to 3.3 instead. So right, 3.3. And it's a bit more, so 3.25, still more. 3.22, still more. 3.21, still more. But 3.2 is a little, little less. Okay, never mind. So this is how it looks like. So this is how you can fill the area in between, basically, that here we have 1.5 as the starting value that where the a is greater than 1.5 and it is smaller than 3.2 over here so you can fill that area in between now this is about one x suppose if you want to change the color also so if you want to change the color in that case you can provide with the color over here for example you can write um so let's say i want color is equals to uh, let's say red for red you can write r as well if you run it you will get the output as this that uh, it will fill the color like this and if you want to provide the functions for example alpha and all you can provide all that as well now similarly over here if you want to provide other things for example if you want to define the alpha that means you want to reduce or decrease the transparency for that you can define the alpha like 0 0.5 not 0 0.5 but 0 0.5 and as soon as we run it you can see that it has become a bit lighter over here the shade over here has become a bit lighter so you can define that also if I press Control tab you will see all the other functions that is there over here so we have where interpolate step and data so all these functions over here are there so basically these are the major functions that we can apply over here so we have where uh, where will define as that in between which area do we have to fill the color that means which color you want to fill and alpha will increase or decrease your transparency so this was one small example on how a fill between work and I hope you have no doubts in the question that how our fill between function works over here. In our next session, we are going to talk about subplots that with the help of matplotlib, we can create subplots as well. So stay connected guys and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.